Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be reacting to my birth vlog. Honestly, I cannot remember the last time I watched it. It's been a really long time. I really was very, very young. So I'm excited and I'm kind of nervous. Everly is my first baby, my first labor, my first birthing experience. So, but if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. It helps me out so much. It's just kind of important when it comes to YouTube. Let's go ahead and react to this birth vlog. I have my phone right here, so I'm just gonna like watch it right here, but I'll put like a little box of the video for you guys to watch as well. Okay, here we go. It is officially 4.13 in the morning and Ali is ready. The water's broke, she's having contractions. Okay, so I so wish that I would have recorded more of the process of before I was at the hospital. That whole day, I felt so weird, but there were so many times where I thought that I had started labor and I, and I hadn't. I didn't think that it was actually gonna be the time and it was literally two o'clock in the morning and I had just been kind of walking around all day with these cramps and I couldn't go to sleep and they were getting so close together. Like I was progressing really, really fast. And so everything was just happening so fast and just was thinking of everything I needed to take to the hospital with me. Although I did have my bag packed, I didn't have any makeup on and I, I just like was ready for bed and so I didn't feel prepared and so on the way there I was like trying to put some makeup on which is so stupid but for some reason that's what I wanted to do to feel prepared. I didn't even know if I was actually in labor still when I got there and I wasn't sure if my water had broke but it had broken and they tested it and it was broken so they're like yeah you're in labor you're staying here. Everything just happened so fast so we got there at like three and then my sister and my mom got there around like 4, 4.30. I had not had the epidural yet. And so I was in pain, not like a super amount of pain, but I was, I was definitely in labor. I was three centimeters. Yeah, I was three centimeters. She's very thirsty, but she's not allowed to drink water. Oh my word, yes. I was not allowed to drink water and I was so thirsty. I totally forgot about that. I remember that's all I could think about was just wanting a drink of water. And then they gave me some ice and I was just like chowing down on that ice, trying to get some relief. I totally forgot about that. Sounded like live on YouTube right now. No. You'll be in the head. Not live. How you feeling? <laughs> Never better. You look good. Uh, I was so swollen. Oh my gosh. My nose just got so swollen. And my ankles, I could not wear any of my shoes. I had to wear either flip-flops or flats. My ankles were just three times the size they normally were. I was so swollen. Little girl self. <laughs> All right, well, we will keep you updated. Okay, it's now 6.58. We got a little bit of an update. Got my girl good. and my IV and my catheter. And is that it? Yeah, so I got the epidural when I was around four centimeters and I remember the only one super intense contraction was when he was going in with the epidural and I literally had to say, stop, I am having a contraction. I am so blessed, but that was like the only super intense contraction that I actually felt. The other ones I could handle, but that last one, ooh, that's when I was like, give me the epidural right now. That's it. So I'm feeling a lot better. And oh, I'm dilating yes. four now. So she's feeling a lot better now. Gonna take a nap. She's been having some big contractions though. Yeah, just feel like just feel like pressure now. 
Look how big that one was. Oh, wow. That one was huge. Oh, my goodness. Wow, I didn't even feel that one at all. That's crazy. I didn't even feel what I was peeing. <laughs> That's so weird. The daddy is wiped out. Waiting on you, Everly. Poor TJ. He was exhausted. And I was exhausted, too. But I could not sleep. I mean, I like closed my eyes for a little bit, but I did not actually ever fall asleep. I was way too much on adrenaline and excitement and nervousness just because I had no idea what was getting ready to take place. I remember I didn't actually talk about this on the vlog, but there was one tiny little spot that the epidural didn't like get to and I could feel the contractions there and it hurt so bad. And I'm like, how in the world would I be able to handle this if this was my entire body? Women that do it all natural, props to you because I will most definitely be using an epidural every single time I have a baby. <laughs> After I had the epidural, my contractions were just like one after another. I was progressing so, so fast. They were planning on putting me on Pitocin, but every single time they were checking me, I would have progressed so much. And they were like, honestly, you're like progressing too fast. We need to call the doctor, have her ready to go because you're about to go any second. And, and so they didn't put me on Pitocin. <laughs> Five minutes? No, it's 8.45. Oh, I was like, what? We got here at, what, 3.30? Yeah. Are you excited? I'm so excited. Okay, it's now 9.28. She's having some monstrous contractions. And she's fully dilated. Fully. In three hours of... Yeah, came pretty quick. She didn't even have Pitocin. So she's no. setting up now. No Pitocin, full epidural, and in three hours, she's probably going to have a baby. Here we go. All she did was eat some ice and take a nap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this might be the easiest. I was in pain before the epidural. After the epidural, pain. I'm like, was good. Perfect. Good. Okay, so they told me they came in just a little bit before that and said, you are fully dilated, but we don't want to start pushing. Whenever you feel like you need to push, just call us and then we'll start. So that's kind of what I was waiting on here, just to start to feel like I needed to push. So yeah, call her. She's feeling like she needs to push. Here's a long. This is nuts. Don't forget. Don't forget. Can I help you? Yes, I think I am ready to push. Okay, I'll send your nurse in. Thank you. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Okay, so I'm already obviously getting emotional, but I did want to talk about the pushing process. But I only pushed for about 35 minutes, and they really weren't expecting that from me since it was my first baby. But pushing was by far my favorite part. It was just, it was so amazing. Like, you just feel so empowered. And just having TJ there cheering me on. It was just the best moment of my life. They asked me if I wanted a mirror and I was like, heck yes, like I wanna see my girl. I was so 
excited to see her. I, you just wait for nine months. Actually, it's more like your whole life. Your whole life you go thinking like, who is gonna be my baby? I'm like finally at that moment where like all these memories of thinking about her even when I was a kid of being a mom like was just like about to come true. Wow, I am so emotional. Oh, okay. It's so crazy, like, it sounds like Everly, you know? Oh my word, it's just, it's such a miracle. It truly, truly is such a miracle how God designed the human body to be able to do that. It's just so amazing. Gosh, my contacts are fogging up like crazy. My makeup's gonna be a mess. <laughs> So now they are stitching me up, um, which I didn't tear a lot. I just tore a little bit. I think just like three stitches and then a couple staples that were like inside my body. When Everly was born, she was born very puffy and a lot of bruises on her face. So before I did skin to skin, they wanted to make sure that everything was okay. So here I didn't have her, that she was over in this like little area, um, still in the room, but she was just so bruised because I pushed her out so fast and so, and she came out with a little cone head, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah. So you guys can even see here how it doesn't even look like her, her face is just so puffy and you can see like the little bruises all over her. She just was a little bit of a mess coming out, but it went away super fast. Even that day, it was practically gone, the puffiness, and then the bruises went away a few days later, but. I'm not the home. She's hungry. Feeling okay?
socks, Daphne. She's perfect. Mm-hmm. She is perfect. Look at those lips. I know. When she was smacking the I know, I love her lips. Oh, not that one, right? You did you so good, well, right? baby. Yeah, the one you got. So, because it has oh. a page for you that. You did so good. Yeah, I did. Oh, that, okay. I didn't know that's what you were talking about. Yeah. Baby, you did so you good. Oh my goodness, my, I don't even look like myself. I am so swollen. Oh man, I was so happy, but also so miserable. I had this huge diaper on, cause if you've never had a baby, it looks like a murder scene down there. It is a ton of blood. I was still so happy. <laughs> I was like, I finally, have this baby out and I'm finally holding this baby in my arm. I got a big old diaper on and she's not talking about Everly. Everly has a little diaper on she's a little and diaper. she's pooped. Now he has a big diaper. And a big diaper. A big transfer. So we're twinning. It's really cute. Tell her how good she's doing. Tell she's them doing how good so she's doing. Good. She's latching on like a pro. Everyone's super impressed. She's freaking chubs and I'm obsessed with her. That's we would show you, but she's so chubs, she won't stop eating. Yep. I got a burger and some fries and a sweet tea, and I feel... Thanks for calling me fat, Mom. <laughs> I know, Everly's going to look back on this and be like... You are fat. Oh. It's okay. We love fat babies. We love them. Those fat babies are healthy babies. One day before her due date. Yep. <sighs> April 20th. She was born at 1020. I'm in heaven. Mm -hmm. About 8.17.8.15. Everyone left. So, it's just us now. Exhausted. Exhausted is an understatement. I feel like I've been kind of on adrenaline all day and now it's just like... Yes, that's something else. I was on such an adrenaline like that whole day so now at this time i was getting off of adrenaline and i was so tired and i wish that i would have slept a little bit while people were still there holding everly because tj was so tired now too but thankfully our nurses were so great and took everly for a little bit so we did get some shut eye that night <laughs> morning yeah. Look at that blonde hair. Mm-hmm. You can't really tell too much in the camera. Yeah, it's still in the sun. Yeah. Like, that's how my hair is. Oh, my. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh. Ah, she's talking to you, YouTube. I think she's pooping. <laughs> oh, well, she's talking to you, YouTube. <laughs> Update. We're getting ready to leave. Everything's good. She's all chunky monkey. She was smirking. Yep. Look, see. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at this front right here. <laughs> she's the cute plant. Oh, she off a little bit. She oh, it's so Are hard. You awake? It's so hard to open it up. She looks, this fits her good. Here we go. Oh my word. This moment, I was so proud. The first moment as my new family walking out of that hospital, I was just so proud and just so in love with TJ, you know? Oh, crazy that that was a year ago. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Thank you. Daddy's putting all the stuff in. Hi. <laughs> You're so cute. See Everly. She's all snuggled up. 
gosh, knuckles. Oh my goodness. Look at that face. Hi, sweet pea. This is so crazy. Here we go. Hi, bugs. Hi, sweet girl. <gasps> She's here. Me. We're gonna take Everly in her room. First She's time. Me too. Ready? so surreal I'm gonna start crying again. I know it's just so crazy. She goes cross-eyed. It's too. so cute. Look at her. Oh, you are the most gorgeous girl in the whole wide world. You are the most amazing thing that's ever happened to us. Mm -hmm. The most amazing thing. The most amazing. Jesus has blessed us. Yes, he has. Because you are so pretty. Wow. That, it's so funny because that feels like a lifetime ago, but it also feels like it just happened yesterday. I'm going to be doing a video all about my postpartum recovery and just all the body changes and everything that comes along with that. So stay tuned for that video. Turn on my post notifications so you guys get notified when I upload that. And yeah, and I'm also going to be doing Everly's birthday vlog. I really hope that every birthday is not going to be as this emotional for her because I can't do it every year. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll hopefully see you in my next one. Bye, guys!